today on VIS TV, we have Vicki Froman. Vicki is the Human Resource ABC and Workers' Comp Manager for Rich's Product. And I am beyond excited to have you. One, as I said before, I know how busy you are. So I greatly appreciate the time you're taking to do this. We started sure. at Viscardi to interview leaders, successful leaders this year, in the hope of one, garnering information. What makes somebody successful? What do you do to inspire people? And then what can we do as a company to grow and learn and be better at what we do? So thanks for being here. So as we get started, tell, tell the audience a little bit about yourself and about the company you work for. All right. Well, uh, thank you for asking me to um, do this for you, uh, for Viscardi Corp. Uh, it's an honor to do that. And I um, will take any opportunity to talk about Riches and what a wonderful company they are. So it's a family-run global food manufacturing company, food, frozen food manufacturing company. So we um, are all over the globe. I actually oversee U.S. and Canada locations. And as you mentioned, for ABC, which is Associate Better Care and Workers' Compensation Oversight. So Associate Better Care is our post-injury management program. So in the unfortunate event an associate is injured, I oversee how we handle that entire situation. So um, I have a network of people throughout um, the U.S. and Canada who actually facilitate the program, their boots on the ground, uh, and make that happen for our associates um, if they are unfortunately injured. So, um, so a little bit more about the company you want to know? Okay. Well, so you know, now that you you intrigue me with the ABC, which I'm familiar with, but maybe the audience isn't. So okay. A program you're managing it in multiple jurisdictions that requires a lot of knowledge on rules and regs. Yes. How do you keep up with that, and how do you keep the stress level down in your team while you're doing that? Uh. Well. Uh, honestly, when I came on to Riches uh, just over six years ago, they had already started down this path. So they had people in locations that were um, familiar with the, this type of injury management program. So it wasn't, I you know, made several tweaks to it and uh, put much more of an advocacy spin on it than what we had been doing in the past. So it was not as, you know, it wasn't like I was introduced the entire program, so it wasn't that crazy of a lift, but um, just some tweaks and changes, you know, we facilitated. And keeping up on the jurisdictional things is, honestly, the team knows. Even, I mean, now I know, but at first, <laughs> so, because my background was always New York, I did a little bit of Connecticut, you know what I mean, that was it, so. Quite, quite different when you're in ha how many jurisdictions, I know the company yeah. itself is in a hundred, some are, right. and all right. the jurisdictions in the U.S. and Canada. Yeah, the jurisdiction, right now we're up to, I think it's 12, 13 states now. It was 10 for a lot of years, but we just had a couple, you know, a few acquisitions that put us in some other new states. Congratulations. Uh, yes, thank you. So, uh, so there are some new states I'm getting familiar with. <laughs> but when I said when I started, I did rely a lot on the team, you know, at the locations to make sure we were administering our um, injury management program in accordance with workers' compensation law for each of those states. So... Uh, but we do, we follow that. We, and we work with travelers. That's our carry workers comp carry. They're fantastic. They're a great resource. They really help. Uh, if we have any questions, if we have new people come out on the team, you know, at a location that doesn't have familiarity with working with, with workers comp, I'm helping travelers team steps up and helps, you know, so we, we kind of take, you know, a team approach to get that person up to speed. So That's great. Yeah. yeah, and support part, the program. That, partner, that partnership is very necessary. Oh, yeah. Play with so many jurisdictions and the potential for catastrophic claims. Not going yeah. with, don't, I hope Rich doesn't have those catastrophic claims, but it's very important to have the boots on the ground, triage yeah. way and get people what they need. Right, right, right. So, and that's exactly, yeah, the point and, and 
we are blessed. We have not had any catastrophic, any since I've been here, and it was a while before that too. So we do have a great safety program. And that I work very closely. Honestly, most of the people who are doing the um, injury management are in safety. So safety and HR. So uh, they, and we do have a great program in place, you know, prevent, prevention and associate safety is number one. And so we, you know, want that information from them and we facilitate you know, an investigation with the associate right off the bat and get any feedback from them when something does occur. And then set them up to see a physician, you know, and then follow through with that whole process to ensure that that experience is good for the associate, that they're getting what they need. We have communication that we provide to them, you know, the traveler's information with their adjuster and the file number, and we do get, get well cards. I just went into Rich's in Buffalo, our headquarters, and sent out batches of get well cards to locations so they can send to the associates um, in the event of injury. We also use those for any type of, so with COVID, we're really, we're redesigning get well cards and we're sending out um, for any reason. So they're a very, you know, a neutral card, but does the job as far as letting them know we're, we care about them and why, you know. That's fantastic. Just, just your smile, just your smile on making that statement um, gives me a okay into you and your leadership. It's obvious you care about the employees and you care about the entire gamut of how they feel individually. Yes. Um, you mentioned a couple of things that I'd like to talk about. Okay. One, COVID, of course, COVID has impacted yes. all. Um, two is we as a case management company manage medical claims. So I am very well aware for a long time about the importance of that relationship, whether it's with the carrier, the providers of care, or the claimant. So mm -hmm. that smile you gave tells me you're doing it all and you're doing it well, which is great. <laughs> yeah, we're trying. We definitely yeah. try. Yeah, I take great. care of a hundred. It's it, That's a, a goal of mine is to, to continually strive towards total worker health. I don't know if you're familiar with that strategy that talk, talk, talk a little bit about that because the audience may be very interested in that. Okay. So the National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health, NIOSH, you know, of course you have to acronym everything, <laughs> um, is the research arm of OSHA, but is they fall actually under the CDC. So they do all sorts of research on occupational anything right? Exposures, sound exposures, musculoskeletal, all of those things. Well, they have a division now uh, that is total worker health. It's a, like a strategy that they're trying to encourage um, employers and companies to, to uh, develop at their, in their company. And it's, it's, it's the philosophy is this is a person, 100% person and not half of them is work related and half of them is not work related. They're all, <laughs> they're all one person. They're all one person, one, <laughs> right. one, one mind and body. <laughs> right. And, and everything impacts that person, right? They need money. So they come to work and they go to work, but they have a family life and they have um, work stressors, home stressors, you know, and, and they can't turn things on and off when they're at work or when they're home. So it's, it's, a, it's an approach to, you know, all the way from HR through safety operations, all of it to, for everybody to work together to ensure, you know, the associate is having a good experience and feels like they're a part of a bigger, you know, the total picture, but also we care about you. So when I started in workers' comp, and you probably are familiar with this too, they were like, we don't care what they do outside of work. Who cares? Once they leave the door, we don't care. And I'm no, like, one, no one can succeed with that attitude. Right. But years ago, I even, I'm like, you're right. I don't either. Right? Because <laughs> that's what you trained me to do. So that's how I feel. But then over the years, I'm like, it really is short-sighted, right? These people, anybody, you know, if I'm upset, something upsetting happened at home, I bring that to work with me. So then I might not be paying that much attention and do something stupid or reach into something. Exactly. You put yourself at risk for injury. Right, right. And, and so, so again, NIOSH has 
um, proposed this idea, if you go on their website, my goodness, they have resource after resource after resource on it. But it's definitely, you know, goes from, like I said, HR pay concerns and breaks and time off, but all the way to your post-injury management, your safety programs, well-being program. We, Riches has a well-being program. And I work with her too. I'm actually, we have a well-being champion network throughout US and Canada, and I help lead that. So, you know, just always looking at how all of these things impact individuals and can help us ensure the health, safety, and well-being of our associates. So, um, notice we call our employees associates and, um, you know, we never say employee. So, <laughs> it's always associate. But also, as far as COVID, we really, you know, Rich has really sh um, shined a light on their priority prioritizing associate safety with it's um, introducing a bunch of temporary benefits for associates if they needed to be off of work, if they, if they um, contracted the illness and or were exposed, directly exposed, they could be off of work um, for up to 14 days, not their sick time, not their vacation time. Right, right. Yeah, we did that. We did day, we, um, daycare, adult care. We offered um, a second MD, a telemedicine service for associates to contact. So we implemented a bunch of different things that I really, truly um, believe helped our situation. Uh, associates weren't afraid to call in and say, I can't come. You know, they didn't, weren't afraid of using their time or being, you know, reprimanded not that they would be reprimanded but you know what I mean like they it was okay so I think that really helped us the whole um, I, I would situation. I would I would no doubt agree with that it's funny you yes. say I had a conversation with a client today the SCARDI does a lot of work with real estate management a lot of warehousing distribution as well but okay. I had a conversation with a real estate management company who has the same philosophy and the philosophy yeah. of COVID was to give support get the message out there that the associate is the important one in this. Yeah. And it really reduced the out of work time that they had, yes. reduced the um, mental pressure that associates yes. felt yeah. and yeah. concern about taking care of families. So COVID yes. could put a spin on everybody. I don't know what 2021 will look like, but I think you set yourself up as a company to really have that in place before this pandemic hit, which had to be tremendous from a company's yes. perspective. Oh, geez, yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Riches is not unlike most others as far as you know the, the changes with the economy. You know, so we definitely, a big division of our, our um, production is, food production is for food service, which is restaurants and schools, right? All of a sudden, restaurants or schools anymore <laughs> right? exactly exactly so that was and the, that that in and of itself you know you add the you take the pandemic individuals are concerned you add then the reduction in work and yeah. and that adds a stressor yes and it's really important and it is something new i've been in um, this industry for over 35 years so i'm very mm -hmm. relationship between the employer and the employer or the associate, as you call them, and the pandemic put a spin on it that wasn't there before. Yeah. But setting yourself up for success, which you did. Yeah. You know, kudos. Kudos. Yeah. 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 Great. Great. You know, the leadership at Riches is fantastic, and they put together a COVID task force immediately. As soon as they decided they were, you know, shutting down world headquarters, and you know, they had a team together, and we put fantastic preventative measures in all of our plants. We, I mean, we have barriers between associates standing on the lines. They have masks, they have shields. Um, we have uh, temperature takers, like right from the beginning. Um, you know, so all of that is in place to help them feel safe when they come to work and secure. But then also, you know, the institution of those temporary benefits also gives them that sense of security as well. So we really, you know, I was, I was proud that how they stepped up with all of that. And we do, we track and we have, you know, knock on wood, not had outbreaks at any of our plants. Um, 
you know, and again, I think it's, it's um, due to all of those efforts that were put into place as, as quick as they were. So. Well, oh, congratulations on that. Thank you. Best of health yeah. and wealth yes. to the company and the uh, associates for sure. You and I spoke a little bit about Rich's University. Would you like to talk about that? Yeah, I was just going to say we, we have, um, it, because you had mentioned leadership and I uh, mentioned also that Rich's high values, you know, great leadership. We um, have Rich, we've developed a learning institute, Rich's University. It started out with marketing and sales years ago, but now we've expanded it into other learning development centers, which um, instead of curriculum, that's what they call them, learning development centers. And then the first that is getting built up the most is dedicated to leadership. So uh, it's it right from the CEO all the way, you know, from the family as well. They believe that, you know, if we have good leaders that allows, you know, our associates to feel safe and be innovative and, you know, take risks and just want to do well by the company as long as they have a great working environment. So they really, and they put out different leadership curriculums that are programs each year that we're supposed to, or every leader has to go through. It's like required. Uh, and then there's follow-up too. So it's not just a training, but it's follow-up exercises. You get little cohorts that you have to meet with monthly. And so they really are encouraging our leaders to develop and giving us the tools to become great leaders. So um, it's just, it's, something different than I've ever experienced in any of the companies I've worked for. Uh, and I just agree wholeheartedly that, you know, a great leader, just their team can do anything if they have a you know, good leader. Oh, I, I second that. I second yes. that. Yes. Yeah. You know, you mentioned, you mentioned the, a couple words that we, we at Viscardi work really hard to have everyone feel that empowerment. Yes. You, yeah. you can't embrace a brand. You can't embrace a vision or a mission unless you have a voice and many yes. people come into companies without that voice. So promoting right. leadership is tremendous. Yes. D yeah. Disney, Disney had a leadership program a long time ago and um, to increase sales, you know, yeah. So yeah. sales by making better leaders and a better product. So, right. um, you know, it's right. great in the food industry, the food service industry to see that being done. Right, right. Well, customer service, you know, is, is, you know, I said associate safety is number one, customer service is right along with that, maybe the next, yeah. time. but they do believe we have to build up and have great associates in order and, you know, safe, right from safety to well-being, right. Right. in order to serve our customers. And exactly. I, that's cannot, such a, you, you cannot serve the customer without a good product and someone behind it. Right, definitely. So. Well, it has been a joy. Thank you, I, very much. you were you inspired me when we spoke. You were very direct, candid, honest, and um, that meant a lot. It, it told me as a leader, you do the same. Thank you.